Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it and we are flying out the MiG 29s in the new 12.7 BR guys, to check it out how the 12.7 BR actually is. It is, I gotta say, a little different than what it was before, um, I, there is, I mean, I'm gonna do another video just to talk about that specifically, but there is another like sub top tier level right now so before we actually had the 12.3s and then you kind of had only like the 12.0s and 12.3s always facing each other with uh 50 50 11.7s going upwards and downwards you know um but more upwards to be honest like the majority of the 11.7s for some nations would go to a top tier, I think. Or at least have some top tier kind of games on it. And then you had like the lower, like down tiers, which is basically just uh, the top of the game with third generation jets, right? So the MLDs and F4s and so on and so on, right? But right now we kind of have, and Gaijin kind of created a mid tier between these two, between the third generations and the top tiers, right? So now instead of having only um, the SMTs, like the, the top of the line heavy fighters from the 80s together with the light fighters from the 90s and 2000s that we had um, fighting like together with early 80s and sometimes third generations as well, everything in the middle there. And of course, with the amount of premiums that people have, especially after updates, we always had a lot of F4Ss and, um, you know, uh, MiG-23s and stuff, stuff like that, you know, a lot of aircraft like that. Uh, now we kind of have uh, separating in three kind of categories, right? So we have the top of the line top dogs. So you will see basically the 12.3s, the 12.7s, the 12.0s and some 11.7s all fighting in the same arena every single match. You will normally, unless uh, there is a very specific aircraft here and there or somebody actually taking a friend with them that is using a lower rank aircraft uh, You will normally see only the fourth generation fighting and I say almost because there is always for example the EJ Kai that it's an 11.7 and some other like that But in general you will see only the fourth generation aircraft fighting each other which means that it's a lot better guys It's a lot harder to actually dominate with the uh, an aircraft such as the MiG-29 SMT, the S-227, the F-15 or any aircraft to be honest of the highest ranks, right? And I think that's uh, all due to the un uncompressing or decompressing of course because of course with decompressing uh, the BR like this, uh, as I was saying, it created another level, which is basically from an 11.3, 11.7, 12.0 BR range. And those BR ranges, they they have their own matches. I flew with some aircraft that were 12.3s, 12.0s, uh, 11.7s, aircraft like that. In the majority of the matches that I got, I mean, apart from some 12.3s, like, the F-15 is still getting a lot of top tiers, but I saw the Mirages, for example, um, the, all the 12.0s, they get a lot of these mid-tier kind of situation where they are facing each other in these BRs, right? And a lot of them are even facing in small numbers, like, for example, there is, like, 3 or 4... 12.0s, 11.7s in a match, and everybody else is an 11.3 or 11.0. And um, so, yeah, it kind of created these three kind of categories of the utmost best aircraft of the game, separating uh, from a lot of the third generations and other aircraft that he, they used to face, and and then the like the the fourth generations that are very very good, apart from uh, some exceptions. Uh, but they're still very good, but not the top of the top, so they don't have, for example, an R-73 or anything like that. Like, for example, the 913 MiG-29, the 912A MiG-29, the F-16As, that they are still very competitive, but they're not, like, as competitive as an SMT, as an SU-27, as an F-16C or whatever. Um, those aircraft are facing each other 
mainly in these mid tier together with sometimes facing some down tiers where they can really shine and destroy whole teams. Uh, the exception that I was talking about that is, for example, uh, an aircraft that I already did a video about, which is the Mirage 2000C, which I don't think it should be an 11.7, because these aircraft, they have not only the weapon systems to be better, or uh, that, that are better than the third generation that sometimes they will be fighting, but also um, the performance of the aircraft. Everything is going towards those aircraft dominating. So you will see, for example, in that video that I did, a match with me in the Mirage 2000C getting 9 kills in a battle. And it's very easy because you are, in the majority of the matches, fighting these, like, um, third generation aircraft, right? Uh, so for top tier, I think it's really, really good. It really makes it up for it. And I think it's really, really good. You know, it, it kind of prevents anybody. It kind of creates three th good things about it. As I said, there are some exceptions like the Mirage 2000C. But in general, uh, you have three good things about this. Uh, the first thing is that you get a more balanced gameplay for the aircraft that were already the top tier. Because, of course... Um, you could get these top tier matches and be balanced in your own opinion, right? You can do a lot of damage, but normally you would just destroy the whole team uh, if the whole team was made, the other team was made of third generations, for example, with any fourth generation like the top ones, right? So this is a, one of the first ones. The second thing is that, of course, with the compression, you get more BR ranges that are getting into matchmakings, making it more balanced as well. And the third thing is that it is protecting uh, from future additions, basically, right? So, for example, if the R-77, M-120s, everything like that is added in the next patch, they don't need to right away add a new BR, even though I would agree to have another BR, like a 13.0 BR or something like that, um, they are kind of future-proof a little bit, at least, because then, at least, you won't have any Fox 3s or any 4 plus generation aircraft fighting uh, the third generations and everything like that, if it was still in a 12.3, the max BR, right? So it's future-proof, even if it's just a little bit, it is helping the game to be a little bit more, right? Uh, so yeah, these are... Uh, I think my opinions on the 12.7 BR range, I think it's great for the top tiers, as you see, the majority of the matches, all the matches, to be honest, were just against top tiers, so yeah, balance set, way better, thank you guys for doing this, make sure to subscribe, check my secondary channel, and I see you guys on the next one.